Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Yeah, welcome back everybody. Sleep tight weather view takes us up to Wisconsin, a little town along the Mississippi River there where they've had a lot of flooding issues over the last few days. You can see some of the pictures there. You know, we're transitioning right now from summer-like weather into autumn-like weather here in the central part of the country. And whenever you get those transitional changes, you tend to get a lot of storms and some heavy rain, and you definitely see it there. Definitely had some heavy rain for us in the tri-states earlier today. Kind of came through in the late morning hours around noon. And it's pushed through right now. We're starting to see a clearing trend, but our almanac shows a high of 84 degrees in Quincy officially, and it still is above average, but not quite as warm as we've seen recently. You'll notice that low, 71 degrees, so didn't get down to that uh, those low still. 12 degrees above our average, and you see we got 92 hundredths of an inch officially at the Quincy Airport. Take a quick look at the allergy index. The weed pollen, the concentration is at high. The mold spore count, yeah, that concentration is at high as well. Then we also have a little bit of tree pollen out there, a little bit of grass pollen out there as well. So unfortunately, a little bit of something for everybody in terms of the allergies. We'll take a look at the Macomb Sky Cam now. Do have some high clouds moving into the area. 75 degrees, that dew point at 71 degrees. Still a lot of humidity in the air. And that wind is now from the west at 5 miles per hour. Across the tri-states, everyone's in the 70s right now. Looks like Jacksonville, 77 degrees. Hannibal, 77 degrees. The warm spot's at Kirksville right now, 78 degrees, where the sun has been out the longest. But we are seeing the cold front knocking on the door just to the northwest here of the viewing area. Now, we had that heavy rain. That is pushed off to the east. And if we zoom out, we can start to see some clearing back up to the northwest. The actual cold front is still just to our northwest, just now entering our area. Now, we're going to see... Not the coolest of temperatures. They will be slightly cooler, but what it's going to do, this first cold front is going to really dry us out, and those humidities are going to be a lot less by tomorrow. Could see some isolated storm development along this cold front, especially for our southern and eastern viewers this evening into tonight, and that cloud cover will remain overnight, but will clear out, and by tomorrow afternoon, I think we'll see a lot of the sun. Temperatures will get to near 80 degrees, but it'll feel a lot more comfortable out there with the less humidity in the air. By Thursday, we'll turn our attention back to the northwest. A powerful cold front starts to take shape, and this air is bringing in, it's bringing in is from Canada, and we're going to see some cooler temperatures with that. Could see some showers in on Thursday, some isolated showers as this cold front pushes into our area, although there won't be a lot of moisture, so I don't think we'll see widespread showers and thunderstorms. Again, cooler, much drier, much cooler air back to the northwest. And you can see what I'm talking about here. That air will filter in by this weekend. Temperatures are only getting up to the upper 60s, I think, by Saturday, maybe down to the lower 70s by Sunday. But regardless, we're going to see a lot of the sun. Those lows tonight get down to the mid-60s to some upper 60s out to the south and to the east there. I don't think it'll quite be as cool as some of the nights coming up. And those high temperatures tomorrow will get up into the low 80s again, but it'll feel drier out there with that less humidity. Seven-day forecast. Get maybe a lingering shower, especially for our eastern and southern viewers tomorrow morning. But I think tomorrow afternoon looking pretty good when that second cold front comes through on Thursday could be an isolated chance for showers and thunderstorms. And then the temperatures start to fall in behind that cold front there. Like I said, that air is from Canada and we can see temperatures in the lower 70s by Friday. Highs in the upper 60s by Saturday, lower 70s again by Sunday. Temperatures dipping down into the low 50s might be a bit of a chill in the air as that autumn weather starts to creep on in from the north. We are transitioning from summer to fall, and that's what happens in September. So Happy September, everyone. Happy September, yes. It's been a good season so far.